you may have rheumatoid arthritis, also called RA, or know somebody who does, and you may wonder what other conditions people with RA are at risk for because of their RA, or on the flip side, what conditions suggest an increased risk of developing RA in the first place. My name is Vanessa Kronzer, and I'm a Clinician Investigator Fellow in Rheumatology at Mayo Clinic Rochester, and I'm delighted to answer these questions today based on our recent publication entitled, Comorbidities as Risk Factors for RA and Their Accrual After RA Diagnosis. It will appear in the December 2019 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. We first studied what conditions people with RA are at risk for because of their RA. We found that people with RA had increased likelihood to develop cardiovascular disease, including heart failure and heart attacks, venous thromboembolism, like blood clots in the legs and lungs, as well as sleep apnea. What this means for patients and their providers is that they should have an increased index of suspicion for these diseases and a lower threshold to screen for them. Our second question was, what conditions suggest an increased risk to develop RA in the first place? We found that people who had autoimmune diseases pre-existing, such as inflammatory bowel disease, type 1 diabetes, autoimmune thyroid disease, as well as epilepsy and venous thromboembolism had increased risk to later develop RA. For scientists, this raises important clues as to why and how RA originates. And for patients and their providers, it suggests people who might be at increased risk to develop RA especially important for family members of people with RA or other people who are at higher risk. So the takeaway message is that people with RA have increased likelihood to develop heart disease, venous thromboembolism, and sleep apnea. And on the flip side, people who have autoimmune disease, venous thromboembolism, and epilepsy might be at increased risk to develop RA. Future studies should figure out why the, the association between RA and these comorbidities exists and should consider looking into whether heightened screening for RA and its comorbidities leads to improved outcomes. You can follow our group's other publications on my Twitter at KronzerMD. Thank you for your attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter more information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.